My name is Mariam Noor. That is my Islamic name. But my legal name is Margaret Templeton. I was born in Scotland to a house which was atheist. In our house, we were not allowed ever to speak about God. And even if we learned something in school, we were not allowed to say anything or we would be punished. For as long as I can remember, I learned to read when I was about three. For as long as I can remember, I have been seeking the truth about why I am in this world. What am I here for? What am I supposed to do? We have a pleasant interruption for one minute. Alhamdulillah. No. Um, we've had some incredible things happen and without any delay because the brother, he wants to be a Muslim. Takbir! Allahu Akbar. Takbir! Allahu Akbar. Takbir! Can I repeat that to me? Okay. Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ali. Ashadu Allah. Ashadu Allah. 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 Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. A Muhammadan. A Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Say, I declare, I declare, there is only one God, there is only one God, and Muhammad, and Muhammad is the final messenger, the final messenger. Allahu Akbar. You, I say it all the time. <laughs> this is amazing. Allah is the greatest. And you know that's the reaction. The only reaction that needs to be, and the only thing that needs to be said is that the creator of the seven habits is, is amazing. He made this, this gentleman come up and... Uh, after the sister speaks, we'll, we'll get the brother to say a few words and, and explain to us uh, a little bit. Okay, uh, she said let him speak now. We'll give him a few minutes and he can tell us that. I never met him, so let me sit down and listen. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I came up here out of my own will to share a few, a few words. Uh, uh, I felt as though uh, I needed to to explain this to everyone. Uh, in fact, I was born Muslim. I'm, I'm an Arab. My name is Yusuf. Okay? My mother is Christian. My father is Muslim. I grew up here in Canada. My background is Kuwaiti. And I wanted to share with everyone my experiences that I've learned growing up. As a young boy, I was brought up upon uh, the Islamic faith. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, strict about it. My father wasn't strict about it. He didn't enforce many of the rules upon me as he allowed me to choose on my own, my own path. And as I grew, I started to learn more and more about Islam. And I started to appreciate its, its values and, its, and the beliefs behind it. I experienced a few things in my life that brought me to a turning point. I went very, very far and I almost felt as though I, I hit rock bottom, the end, until something showed me that there was a truer meaning out there. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, spoke to me. He showed me that life has its own meaning and a life can be so beautiful when you understand what path it is you need to take. I thank Allah, alhamdulillah, for showing me the true path that I should stray to go upon so that inshallah a man in Jummah one day uh, excuse me, I'm just I'm kind of nervous uh, after uh, realizing that uh, it was, it was the, the path that I needed to, to take I tried my very best to learn and to be devoted to whatever I learned next. I had to, to thank my friends, my family, their families for showing me. And I guess the part that, that uh, makes me feel good the most is the fact that whatever I've learned, as little as it may be, I feel devoted to it because I feel as though no one has told me to learn this. I need to find this out on my own 
And when you figure out things on your own, and when you have the desire to learn on your own, your heart opens, and the meaning stays with you forever. Thank you. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Appreciate it. Salaam alaikum. I was born to a house where God was not allowed to be spoken about. As soon as I became old enough, I began to search for some information about this person called God that other people mention. And all through my life, I have been seeking the truth. Not a particular religion, but the truth. Something which made sense to me, and something which opened my heart, and something which made my life worthwhile. I have been in practically every church in the kingdom, both here and at home. It never occurred to me to think about Islam. I became interested in Islam when the war took place in Iraq. And I read the terrible things that were being said in the papers about Muslims. And I was sufficiently well educated about other religions to know that these things were not true. That lies were being told. And so, I went seeking for a teacher who could teach me something about the Islamic way of life so that I would be able to refute these things that were being said about the Muslims which were wrong, which were lies, and which came from Shaitan, or Satan as I called him there. I have always made it my, one of the things that I do is I talk to everyone. Uh, I want to smile at everyone and say hello and how are you and what is your day like? Just to help their day along. Because um, Jesus spread happiness wherever he was. And at that time I was a Roman Catholic, but I was very unhappy. And um, I left the church. And I didn't know where to go. At the same time as I was seeking for a teacher in Islam, I was praying constantly, all day, to God. Help! 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 Over and over and over, all day, for almost two years. Because I did not know what to do, where to go. A friend of a friend of a friend brought me the name of an alim, I think, a scholar. His name was Nuruddin, and he was an Arabic born in this country, and he lived in Ajax. And he invited me to come to his house, which I did, and he told me what books to buy. And I could call him if I had questions. And that was our relationship. There were seven volumes of this book. It was a commentary on the Quran. Very excellent. And if I could remember its name, I would tell you. But being one of the older ones, one of the less beautiful ones, I cannot always remember everything. So I started to study. I opened the first book. I read the acknowledgement. And then I didn't start from the back because I didn't know that. I started from the front. And I was immediately in al Bakara. Is this correct? Yes. And before al Bakara, there was al Fatiha. Al-Fatiha? Yes. And I read Al-Fatiha. And it was as though I were struck by 
lightning. Tears poured from my eyes. Tears like my Niagara Falls. My heart beat very quickly. I was sweating, I was shaking like this. I was afraid that this was Shaitan, that he was trying to stop me because I had found a way where, because this book might give me the way to truth, which is what I was seeking.